Hello there. I'm Natasha. What's your name? Really? That's a really cool name. You must be here because I'm reading the 50 Below Zero book. You are? Oh, that's great. I love reading with friends. Should we get started? I think so too. The book we're reading today is 50 Below Zero. This was one of my favorites growing up. I think you're gonna like it. So why don't we start? In the middle of the night, Jason was asleep. Zzz, zzz, zzz. He woke up. He heard a sound. He said, what's that? What's that? What's that? Jason opened the door to the kitchen. And there was his father who walked in his sleep. He was sleeping on the refrigerator. Jason yelled, Papa, wake up. His father jumped up, ran around the kitchen three times, and he went back to bed. Jason went to sleep. He, zzz, zzz. he woke up. He heard a sound. He said, what's that? What's that? What's that? He opened the door to the kitchen. No one was there. He opened the door to the bathroom. And there was his father sleeping in the bathtub. Jason yelled, Papa, wake up. His father jumped up, ran around the bathroom three times and went back to bed. Jason said, this house is going crazy. But he was too tired to do anything about it. So he went back to bed. He woke up. He heard a sound. He said, what's that? What's that? What's that? He opened the door to the kitchen. No one was there. He opened the door to the bathroom. No one was there. He opened the door to the garage. And there was his father sleeping on top of the car. Jason yelled, Papa, wake up. His father jumped up, ran around the car three times and went back to bed. Jason said, this house is going crazy. But he was too tired to do anything about it. So he went back to bed. Jason went to sleep. Zzz, zzz. He woke up. He heard a sound. He said, what's that? What's that? What's that? He opened the door to the kitchen. No one was there. He opened the door to the bathroom. No one was there. He opened the door to the garage and no one was there. He opened the door to the living room. No one was there. Where could he be? But the front door was open and his father's footprints went out into the snow and it was 50 below zero that night. Yikes, said Jason. My father is outside in just his pajamas. He will freeze like an ice cube. So Jason put on three warm snow suits, three warm parkas, six warm mittens, six warm socks, and one pair of very, very warm boots. Uh, boot sort of things called mucklucks. Then he went out the front door and followed his father's footprints. Jason walked and walked and walked and walked. Finally, he found his father. His father was leaning against a tree. Jason yelled, Papa, wake up! His father did not move. Jason yelled in his loudest possible voice, Papa, wake up! His father still did not move. Jason tried to pick up his father, but he was too heavy. Jason ran home and got his sled. He pushed his father onto the sled and pulled him home. When they got back, to the porch, Jason grabbed his father by his big toe and he pulled him up the stairs. Bump, 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 bump. He pulled across the kitchen floor. Scritch, scritch, scritch. Then Jason put his father in the tub and turned on the warm water. The tub filled up. Glug, 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 glug. Jason's father jumped up and ran around the bathroom three times and went back to bed. Jason said, this house is going crazy. I'm going to do something about it. So he got a long rope and tied one end to his father's bed and one end to his father's big toe. Jason went to sleep. Zzz, zzz. He woke up. He heard a sound. He said, what's that? What's that? What's that? He opened the kitchen door. And there was his father stuck in the middle of the floor. 
good, said Jason. That is the end of the sleepwalking. Now I can get to sleep. In the middle of the night, Jason's mother was asleep. She heard a sound. She woke up. She said, what's that? What's that? What's that? She opened the door to the kitchen and... How silly is that? The daddy is stuck by his big toe and Jason's asleep on the bread. That was a fun story. Did you like this story? I hope you did. I really did. Well, thank you for reading this story with me. I hope to be able to read all these other stories with you every day until Christmas. I know. Isn't that awesome? All right. Well, I'll see you guys again next time.